There are still a couple things left to do on this ship, and after that we're gonna head uh, towards the area outside the ship. First on the menu today, we're gonna climb this crane over here. As you can see, there's a jiggy under that cage. As you might expect, we're gonna have to lift that cage with the crane in order to get the jiggy. Now, the time limit for this is rather tight, as I remember it. Of course, there's no threat of instant death at, at every corner, so it's not nearly as difficult as what we did in the last video. However, we still might need more than one try, so let's uh, use the beat bomb on this switch, because that's really all the beat bomb is good for, pressing switches like that. 16 seconds! As you can see, that's not a lot of time to climb the crane and get over there. So let's hurry up with Kazooie. And, okay, am I going to be able to make it in time? It definitely looks like it. Oh, oh, yes! Oh, wow, that was close. And, uh, no, you can't get trapped under that cage because uh, the crane waits until you move out of the way in order to lower the cage. Oh, wow, we got a uh, Mumbo token there. I almost forgot about it completely. Now, uh, one last thing inside this ship. As you can see, there's a dolphin in the water down there that's uh, being uh, held by the anchor. So we're going to have to lift that anchor in order to... Excuse me, did I just bounce off the entrance to that place? But, yeah, uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, what you have to do, you just have to press a switch once again to lift the anchor and free the dolphin. Okay, we got some sewer monsters. So, let's kill those guys, just being careful, because sometimes even doing what I do, I still get hit. So, sort of cheap, but... Then, but then again, it's not the end of the world because they drop energy anyway when they die. Okay, we got some notes, and the switch is right in, in the middle of the room. Now, some, one thing that I can't help but notice every time I play this game, look at what the anchor does. Look at this. It goes right through the dolphin! Normally it should, like, rip it in half or something, but... Nope, not in Banjo-Kazooie. Magic Anchor goes straight through the dolphin who escapes unharmed. Yeah, sure, whatever. Oh well, at least we, at least we get a jiggy for our troubles that I guess we wouldn't get if the dolphin were dead. Anyway, let's head back out and... Oh god. Am I gonna... Yeah, I'm stuck in the chain! Get out of there! Come on, get the fuck out! Okay. I'm just gonna head back to a platform because, well, I still haven't gotten around to explaining what uh, this, uh, what this poison water does, but, uh, I'll get there as soon as I can get out. No! I want you to go the other way! God damn it, I hate those fixed camera angles that, bi that, that, that make you go the opposite way of where you intend to go and shit. Oh, okay, anyway, we're finally out, so let's just grab this jiggy and get out of dodge. Uh, so, yeah, this poisoned water, what it does is that it takes away your air twice as fast. But that's not all, because just swimming on the surface is going to consume your air at the normal rate, so you're better off, you know, jumping out of the water and doing what I just did. Uh, now, as for the holes that uh, say toll something, you want to put the number of eggs that's written on there. In this case, it's two. And I'm just going to kill the sewer monster so that it doesn't bother me later on. But as you can see, I can't get to that mumbo token over there. So I want to put two more eggs. Mm, okay, maybe it's four? Yeah, it's four. So... Yeah, that's what you that's what you want to do. You really have to know it because otherwise you're going to spend quite a while trying to jump to that mumbo token and fail. And at least I can get it uh, rather easily from there, but I couldn't have gotten it at all uh, if I kept the platform at its first position. Okay, now we got a few notes. I'm going to grab them. Um by the way, try not to fall into that caged area unless you absolutely need to go in there. Because on top of the poisoned water... Remember Snacker from uh, Treasure Trove Cove? Yeah, he's in that little caged area too, and he will gladly take a bite out of you if you let him. So try very carefully to not fall in there. Of course, we're going to have to go in there anyway, but... Uh, we, we're not gonna go there on purpose if we can avoid it. 
Anyway, this window looked a little more fragile than the other one, and it's a sign that you can ground pound it. So, uh, you want to make your way up here, and... Is that a Jiggy over there? Yeah, it's a Jiggy! I was ex I was expecting something like a Mumbo token, but... Oh, wow, we're already up to eight, eight Jiggies in this world! We're doing really well, to be honest. I didn't think we were that far along. Anyway, let's see, is there... There's gotta be a Mumbo token somewhere in there. There are just too many good places to hide one. Oh, it's not a Mumbo token, it's an extra life. Well, that sucks, I guess. So, down there... Is there anything down here? No, even though, once again, it would, be, it would have been a nice spot. Whoa! Didn't want to head on that platform so fast. But, um... Okay, we got some notes. It's weird, I can... I can really remember there being a Mumbo token in this place. Maybe... Over there... There are a few boxes that you can get... Uh, that you can use to uh, get back some- WHOA! Well, that grating wasn't very easy to see given the camera angle. And I'm whining a lot about the camera today, this is just, um... Well, let's just say fixed camera angles can be annoying sometimes, and I'm not seeing anything that resembles a mumbo token, only eggs, so, um... Okay. Oh yeah, I can head back out this door. Is this gonna put me in the caged area? I think so, but, um... Uh, does it? Doesn't look like it. No, it doesn't! So, um... Yeah, let's not head over there quite yet. Instead, I'm just gonna head back over to the ladder I took, uh, you know, uh... On the other side of the bridge that said uh, Toll 2. And uh, I think now we're gonna be good to head into that caged area from above. Reason why I'm taking that detour is because, well, I, I want to deal with Snacker as little as possible. And entering through the hole in the fence, well, um, it's gonna expose you to Snacker a lot more. And uh, there was a Jinjo that I was about to miss as well. And, oh wow, this is actually our first Jinjo, so, um, this means that there are no Jinjos whatsoever uh, inside the ship. Okay, so we saw that hole in the little building over there, so let's hurry up because, come on, he's right on our tail! Book it! Book it! Okay, okay, we're good. So, uh, I believe uh, the water in this area is actually regular water. I'm not 100% sure. Now, it doesn't look like it. It, lo it looks like it, but it's definitely not uh, regular water, because uh, if, it w if it was, I would have re recovered my air as soon as I reached the surface. Oh, oh right, uh, we got um, an extra honeycomb piece in here. You want to press the switch first, and it's going to appear in midair. And there's going to be a flight pad somewhere, presumably at the other end of the room. And... Was there anything else that we could get with the flight pad in this building? Sorry if I'm trying to remember stuff a lot, but uh, I really don't want to end up wandering all over the place trying to find something, even though, as I said before, I can always just check game facts. But, like, there, there are, for example, there are 15 Mumbo Tokens in this world, and uh, I, it, it wouldn't be much fun to... Um, uh, you know, either go to each individual location myself, or watch all the footage I've done in this world, and, uh, and uh, check them off as I go. So, um, it's just, um, a lot easier to, uh, where's Snacker? Well, not that I'm complaining, Snacker didn't even appear! Oh well, super! So let's head back to that ladder once again, so we're done with, uh, that caged area so we can actually move on now. It, it sort of sucks that there's no ladder closer to this, but um, oh well, it's it's not like it's a, as major of a time waster as some of the backtracking sessions you get to, to go through when trying to 100% banjo 2 -y. Some of that shit is just nasty. Now oh, let's be careful. I don't I don't want to fall back down and be forced to head back to the ladder again. That would be... Oh, there was a ladder all the way over there, I think, so... 
well, I wasn't really smart, but then again, I wasn't going to risk running out of air uh, uh, to see, you know, if there was a ladder there. And if there weren't, then uh, I would have to head, to head all the way back to near the entrance of the level. Anyway, here we got uh, Toxic Sludge. Just touching it will hurt you. There's no gimmick about air and stuff. Touching it will hurt you, so I strongly recommend that you try not to touch it as much as humanly possible. It's a very precise platforming challenge, but the controls in this game are responsive enough that, you know, it's not that much of a problem. As long as you're paying attention to your shadow, then there should be no problem at all. So we got everything in that area. Oh god, another one of those TNT boxes. I wonder if I can uh, make it explode with it with an egg. Let's see. Okay. One egg isn't enough. Maybe I need some more. Uh, three would normally do the trick, I guess. Okay, there we go. Three eggs. So here's the crane from earlier. We already got the notes on top of it, so we can move on to the next area. Just fire four eggs in there. Here we go, and I think we're gonna end up in uh, a room... Uh, not, not a room, stupid. Uh, an area with uh, three of those uh, giant container thingies, I guess. Let's head into this one, see what's in there. Okay, here a beehive, a few notes, sewer monsters, a mumbo token. I wonder how many mumbo tokens we have left to collect in this uh, in this world. I guess we're gonna see right now. Oh, we only have one left. I'm supposed to have a 39 at the end of this world, so only one mumbo token left. And I think I have a pretty good idea of where it is actually, so all of them will be accounted for. Okay, nothing in this corner, so let's just. Grab those extra notes and mosey on. Ow! Oh, by the way, just notice this. Those sewer monsters actually deal two damage. I thought it was one, but um, I guess if you if you suck enough like I do to get hit by them, I guess uh, I guess uh, I guess you deserve that loss of hell. Okay, we got everything over there, so I guess we're done with this particular container. So there are only two left, and uh, the middle one, as far as I remember, can only be accessed by uh, busting in through the top. No, I don't want to head back out there. Thank you. Okay, between the containers, there are a few eggs. I'm going to grab them since I'm not quite full in that department. Uh, okay, yeah, let's head into this one, see what's in there. A few notes. Oh, God, a TNT box. And now I can't rely on the camera to help me kill them. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, my God. There are two more. Oh, come on. If I had the targeting system from Banjo-Tooie, these would be easy to take down. But here, it's either like, you know, take damage or use a golden feather. Now, I, I'm, I'm going to take the damage, I guess, because... Uh, Energy is a bit easier to recover than gold feathers, but still. Okay, an extra life for killing all those things. Well, that's sort of a rip-off. I sort of wanted it to jiggy for that, but... Uh, oh well, whatever. I think we've done everything we could in this container as well, so... Let's head for the last one, which, as I said, can only be accessed from the top. Yep, I remember this right. So, I... Th oh, wow, this is the one with a, with a lot of crates inside. Those containers are really a lot bigger on the inside than they are on the outside. I hear a Jinjo! There's a Jinjo somewhere, and I think the last Mumbo token is also somewhere in there. Uh, okay. So... Got some more enemies. As I said, energy is a bit easier to recover than gold feathers, so... I'm almost full, and... Okay. Um... Did he just go through the box? I think he did, anyway. Last Mumbo token in this world. They're all accounted for. So we're all only missing a few notes, a few Jinjos, and a pair of Jiggies. Whoa! Well, that's right! He actually went through the box! Hello, Glitch! Uh, now, 
guess we're done here. There is nothing else. So we got the we got the gin, the Jinjo and the Mumbo token. So next time we're gonna complete Rusty Bucket Bay and make our way to the final world of this game.